Today is the third Saturday in May, Armed Forces Day, a day to honor Americans serving in the military. And on this Armed Forces Day, a special tribute to all Americans lost in the line of duty. They are 24 notes, known simply as taps. 24 notes as familiar to Jim Miller as his heartbeat. Uh, I've been playing uh, at funerals since 1991, uh, but I've done about 260. A month ago, Miller was stationed in Afghanistan, an intelligence analyst for the Navy, and also a bugler, called into service to honor the lost. Most families keep it together during, during the actual funeral uh, service, but when they play taps, almost to a person, they, they break down and cry. He's home just in time to honor all who serve. Part of a tribute called Echo Taps, on this Armed Forces Day, at exactly 11 o'clock, horn players, one after the other, played those 24 notes at every national cemetery. It's the brainchild of veteran Thomas Day, himself a bugler who has played at more than 5,000 military funerals. It's an honor. We're honored to pay that respect, to give that last piece of music, that going away song, to that veteran. With so many funerals, veterans and active duty personnel, 1,800 a day, buglers are in high demand. Recordings of taps sometimes must substitute for live performances. Hoping to inspire more musicians to volunteer, Day started Echo Taps in New York in 2005. Buglers lined 42 miles of road between two national cemeteries. The Veterans Administration helped orchestrate the national event to draw even more attention to the shortage. 3,000 were expected today, some making their debut. They said, I have to do something at the funeral. I'm going to learn how to play. So we've had many people pick up a bugle and begin to learn. They played in all 50 states and Australia, France, and Luxembourg. In Alexandria, Virginia, Jim Miller played those 24 notes as he has so many times before. It means that you're not forgotten, that, uh, that your service in, in the military meant something, uh, that people have respected you and uh, will give you that honor. Next year, Thomas Day hopes to bring Echo Taps to Washington, D.C., linking all of the city's war memorials with buglers playing taps.